in that scrimmage on Sunday? Uh, the offense had a really good day, uh, really competitive. Just happy to get out there and kind of get see some live action uh, for some of the guys, and um, I think it was a good showing. Um, really just the, the aggressiveness that the offense came out with. Um, we were ready to go from the jump, and uh, I think we showed it. Coach Walter was talking about the receiving court, about to have seven or eight guys like, like for him, that rotation. Have you noticed a difference in just the chemistry you have with that receiving court um, as opposed to maybe last year when it was kind of centered around a handful of Yeah. Um, year two, I think everyone's understanding of the offense has, has grown. Um, and also, I think this year it's, it's more by committee. You know, we have a lot of guys that can step up and play. Um, it's real competitive in that room right now. Um, so, really just a good atmosphere, and I think the chemistry that myself and the rest of the quarterbacks have with the receiving court is, is continue, continuing to grow. We see Will Farniak came in sort of progressive in his game physically and, and sort of in terms of beating the middle. How have I seen it progress? Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, well, obviously he's gotten a lot bigger. Um, I've known him since I first got here. Uh, we enrolled early together, lived together, um, and he's he's grown a lot. You know, just he really took it uh, upon himself this off season to, to get bigger, get a great understanding of the playbook, and I think he's he's been doing great things for us this uh, this fall. How do you schools get starters? How do you expect your two to be in terms of just the amount of attention you get? How do you manage that? Like, how do you manage the off the field stuff? This, yeah. but not just walk around camp. Like, how do you how do you deal with all that? We're kind of coming around. Um, yeah, well, I'm not really sure what to expect as far as walking on campus and whatnot. Uh, I don't think it'll be too much different than last year for me. Uh, school to school. <laughs> Uh, but as far as you know, my, my supporting cast is really what helps me get through it, and, and just having football, having this university, um, something to hold me down and, and really just uh, motivate me. So not really to worry about all that outside noise and um, things that just come with playing at this university. Um, you know, just not even concerned with that. Just really excited about this season. You know, what keeps you? Uh, you know, what teammates kind of keep you grounded? Um, not worried about that stuff. I, I'd really have to probably take it back to my roommates, uh, Brody Bell, you know, uh, Tate, and Barrett Pickering. You know, they're great guys, and there's a lot of guys that live next to us, and we all kind of hang out. It's just, uh, it's fun. You know, it's relaxing. You just kind of wind down, and, and I don't have to feel like you're always on the spot. You know. Hey, last week, Coach Reduce was talking about McCaffrey and how well he did on that playbook test. Yeah. And how it was how impressive with the scores. He's seen a young guy. Uh, from your observations, how far along is he for a true freshman since the spring to now? Yeah, um, I think Luke's been doing a great job. He's a bright young young kid uh, with lots of talent. He's fast and throw the ball. Um, but I think it's going to be a process for him. You know, uh, I think making that jump is tough for a lot of people. And, um, you know, I think luckily for him, he has a great coach and Coach Purdue. Uh, we have a great quarterback room. We're all supportive of each other. So, um, you know, we're going to continue to support him and just try and make him better just like we do for everyone else. How tough has it been to play against the defense during this camp? And I guess I've seen the progress. Yeah, they've been good. They've been good. I think um, we're starting to bounce back a little bit as an offensive unit the last couple of days, the scrimmage. Um, but the D-line has been great. The DBs have you know, a ton of confidence. You know, I've spoke on, on this a ton, but um, I'm really excited for them this year. They look like a, a real good group right now, a new group, new confidence, and uh, I'm excited for them and for us, our team. Can you address the base that the defensive backs have like a confident banter? What do you take from kind of their attitude practice and then also off the field? It kind of seems like they're jabbing at you a little bit. Oh, yeah. yeah I love it. I mean, bring it on, you know, shoot. I, I love anything that's going to be competitive. You know, if it's going to get them fired up, good. If it's going to get our receivers fired up, good. Um, it's never personal, and I think that's where some guys uh, lose sight of that. You know, um, I love it. You know, they want to talk. When I throw a touchdown on them, you know, I'm going to go talk smack to them, too. That's just how it works. Um, 
they've been doing a really good job, and I, I like that. I want that swagger from them, that that confidence. I think that's how DB should be. How fun has it been for you to see all these new young wide receivers just kind of come in and start to make plays right away? Is that it's kind of like a kiss and candy store for you? <laughs> no doubt. Um, I think this coaching staff does a great job of recruiting great talent. Uh, a lot of fast guys out there, and, and they're smart too. Um, they've really done a great job of picking up as much of the playbook as possible. Um, I think ball camp's a different monster, but they've done a great job of, of just attacking it. Uh, like Coach Frost says, don't dip your toe in the water, you know, just have to go and attack it. And a lot of those guys are doing a great job. When it comes to interceptions, I know it was a big point of emphasis for the defense, just to get more of them. Have you seen them? Maybe have a, a different mentality as far as attacking passes than maybe they did a year ago and taking those chances and not fearing making a mistake on a ball. Yeah, um, I think it just comes down to knowing your schemes better, uh, knowing what you're doing out there, and, and that allows you to play faster. Um, I think that's a part of year two um, when they're able to play more freely because they know exactly where they're supposed to be, what they're doing. Um, it can allow them to, to break rules at times. And uh, I think they've been doing a great job of just playing fast. You know, uh, I would say definitely they, they're better than they were last year. They're doing a great job right now. You call Luke a young kid. Yeah. Yeah, he's a young buck in the group. I'm not gonna let him think he's that much older. I'm, I'm that much older than him, even though I'm probably like a year older. Uh, um, yeah, maybe a little bit. You know, I think I'm still the second youngest in the group right now. So. <laughs> Last week, Mario was, was talking about so you played a whole season. Now you're, there's times when you think, okay, I've seen this before. I've seen this list before. How much of a difference does that make? And do you, how, how much do you think about that just over the course of play? Yeah, um, I wouldn't say I necessarily think about it a ton, but it's more of something that uh, it helps me identify what the defense is playing, whether it's their coverage, whether it's for protection's sake, um, and it allows me to play faster. Uh, I think it's just kind of came naturally. Um, you start recognizing things and it just accumulated over time. And Coach Verdue's a, 100% right. Uh, last year, you know, seeing a lot of those pictures, it was the first time for me. And then, you know, the more you see them, the, the better you get at kind of dissecting it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.